In this video, I'm going to show you how to use FieldView's data inbox to manually import data layers that couldn't or haven't been streamed by the FieldView drive. When logged into FieldView via your browser, go to Import. And this will load up the data inbox feature of FieldView. Here you will find a link to our support website with guides on which file types are compatible and how to export them into the correct format for field view. Today, I'm going to show you what to do once you've got your files into the correct format and saved into a zip folder. Click on upload file and then select the zip folder containing the data you want to upload. Depending on the speed of your internet connection and the size of the file you've selected, this could take anywhere up to 30 minutes. The file I've selected today is about 600 megabytes and contains planting application data and yield data from a 1000 hectare farm. And this took about 15 minutes to upload. Once the upload is complete, FieldView will start processing the files and categorizing them based on the type of data that you've uploaded. Depending on the amount of data, this could take anywhere up to 30 minutes, but at this point you can close the window and come back and check data inbox later. Click on import to load up data inbox. You will see FieldView load the files that you have imported. Here you can see we've got a number of files in planting, applications, and harvest. You can now use the editing tools to change any information that requires changing before importing them to your fields. For example, we can edit this planting data by using the filters to select the unknown variety. You could have unknown varieties that weren't logged during planting, but you can use field view here to quickly filter down to only select those, and then click on the edit all drop down, enter the original hybrid name, and enter the new name that you want to use. Click on apply. And it will update the variety. If you now change the filters, you'll see Crusoe is listed and it lists the, the same fields but with the new hybrid name. Check the box at the top left of the list and then click on import at the bottom right and it will start importing those planting files to your fields. Note the same process can be followed to edit crop type for harvest and planting data as well as client and farm on all types of data. It's likely you will have to edit crop type for manually imported data to ensure that the crop type matches a field view recognized crop type. 